6G refers to the sixth generation of mobile cellular technology. But that's really about as clear as it gets. Um, what now? There's a ton of cool stuff that brilliant engineering minds have come up with since the ITUR first defined 5G IMT 2020 in 2015. And even though the 3GPP tries to stuff as much as possible into releases, typically the defining factor that makes a new generation is a critical development in the air interface. That's where the ones and zeros are carried, between the antenna and your device. Essentially, each breakthrough offers improved spectral efficiency, meaning we can stuff more bits and bytes in the same amount of spectrum than previous generations. How does 6G work? Well, we really don't know yet, because everything is just proposals. Certainly, there'll be another leap in spectral efficiency, which will mean more bandwidth. Some have even suggested a 100 times improvement over 5G, meaning we can finally get everyone on the network to experience the latest Billie Eilish concert in an interactive 8K VR experience. And that will likely mean even more frequency bands made available for use. But we don't really have the technology to send data in the hundreds of gigahertz or terahertz range yet, or at least not over any significant distance. We could also theoretically use existing spectrum more efficiently by sending and receiving data at the same time, rather than being bound by the current limitation of only sending data in one direction at a time. Likewise, we can expect lower latency and even greater connection density. If latency is lower, we can offload our computing from our device into the cloud to make more effective use of massive cloud computing power. We can also more reliably depend on critical services where split-second information is essential, like maybe real-time AR-based windshields in cars. Maybe more importantly, we can connect a seemingly limitless number of IoT devices with greater reach and better power consumption for things like smart clothing that monitors health issues. When will it come out? Well, typically mobile generations come out every decade so presumably, the ITUR will define IMT 2030 soon, with a target deployment of, well, 2030? Unfortunately, there's more people wanting to get on the bandwagon, meaning there will likely be fragmentation in 6G standards. Historically, the more pragmatic approach put forth by the ITUR, the 3GPP, and the GSMA has had greater traction. I mean, after all, GSM dominated the world for 2G, and UMTS beat out CDMA for global 3G. Not to mention UMB and WiMAX, which are now simply footnotes in the history of 4G. Regardless, we've still got a decade of 5G development ahead of us, so there's no reason to hold out for that 6G smartphone just yet. Besides, how many connected toothbrushes does one person really need? Thanks for watching. Aren't the Wi-Fi guys chatting about Wi-Fi 6 and 6 gigahertz? Hmm. All these sixes, this is going to be confusing. <laughs>